Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel, I'm Dazzling Dave and that elusive, experienced right wing back position we've all been stressing about during the summer transfer Wolves have finally uh, confirmed the signing of Nelson Semedo from Barcelona to Wolverhampton, 29 million all the details coming up Also in this video, I've done a poll on the Always Wolves Twitter to see the Wolves fans' general approval rating of that and I'll let you know that at the end of the video. So guys, how are we feeling? Can we all take a sit back, a big deep breath out? Since Matt Doherty uh, left Wolves, obviously we try to reprime White Wing back, we've all been stressed and in the space of um, just a, a couple of days really, they brought in the young lad Hoover from Liverpool who's got a lot of potential and now, as Jeff Shear has described it, a world class signing from a world class club. Nelson Semedo, uh, he's 26 years of age, he's played for Barcelona for the last three years, he's made over 124 appearances for Barcelona. He made 40 plus last season, he's won 10 major honours, so his career started at uh, third division uh, Portuguese club Sintrees before he then moved to Benfica, was at Benfica for four years, won every possible trophy, was part of the Benfica team and won I think their four consecutive um, in the Portuguese top division. Uh, also won their equivalent of their League Cup and their FA Cup and their Community Shield before he was eventually picked up uh, by Barcelona as their replacement for Alves. Uh, he played, as I say, over 124 times for Barcelona, 42 times last year. He also was part of the uh, Portugal squad that won the Nations League. He's played 13 times for his country. He was actually uh, voted in the uh, team of the tournament for the uh, for the Nations League as well. And in Portugal as well, he was also voted the breakthrough player of the 2016-2017 season. Is this an upgrade on Doherty? Um, I, you know, I'd probably say it was. As I say, Jeff Shea has come out as, and said, you know, we're, we're, we're showing our ambition. Uh, it's not often you get the opportunity to sign a world-class player from a world-class club. And uh, why is he picked Wolves? Well, he is an agent of... Uh, of obviously Uncle George Mendes. Uh, he is Portuguese as well. So the good thing is the transition into the team should be uh, smooth. He knows the likes of Matinho, Neves and Rui Patricio from obviously the uh, the Portugal national team. Uh, he's ready made to come straight into the team. I expect he will be starting obviously against West Ham at the weekend. And the other good thing as well, it really does now free up Traore, who's not a right wing back. He does struggle with the defence duties and it will you know we'll get be able to get Troy more up the pitch but this guy is supposed to be incredibly speedy and athletic as well um, he doesn't tend to cut inside like Doherty used to do he usually to, could see him overlapping and going around the outside of the player and whipping crosses in uh, and he will get up and down the pitch he's got an engine on him he's very obviously very fit and very experienced as I say he's you know, he's played at the top level with Barcelona in La Liga, won the league titles win there and they're all their cups again. OK, Barcelona, you know, are dominant along with a couple of other clubs in uh, La Liga, but, you know, still part of that. There has been a little bit suspects at really, really top level in his defending, um, such as, you know, against the likes of Bayern Munich and teams like that. Uh, Nuno will, will no doubt... You know, it's been his main target, I think, to bring him in. And, Je you know, Jeff Shee and the team have done really good to get him. And it's, although he's a Mendes client, you've still got to basically get the player to want to come from Barcelona uh, to Wolverhampton. He said he's picked Wolves because he's going to fit in quite well. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, he wants to help Wolves get into push into that top six, top four and, and win trophies. And I think it's, again, another sign that Fosen is showing their ambition. They're, you know, Nuno signing that new contract. I think a lot of that, you know, Nuno obviously committed to Wolves, but he wants to make sure that Fosen is still backing him. Well, you know, they've gone and spent the money. I mean, this is £80 million they've spent on players during the, uh, the summer transfer window. Balanced by the outgoings, actually, it's around about the same 80 million. But obviously, the Jota money will come in over installments. We've still got the likes of 
Ryan Bennett, my dad will probably get up and cry when he goes again, and a couple of others to move out. Leo Bonatini's moved over to our feeder club, uh, Grasshoppers, who's now owned by um, the wife of uh, one of our owners as well. So yeah, how are you feeling about this particular transfer? Let's have a look at the uh, the Twitter poll. As you can see, uh, the Wolves fans' massive approval rating of, of this. Not many that are not impressed at all. And now just doing a quick poll before I did this video. And obviously that seems to have got the thumbs up for the uh, from the Wolves faithful. Will Wolves bring in another player before the deadline? It's. I wouldn't surprise me if we bring in one more. But it, you know, if we were to finish the uh, the transfer window with the squad that we've got now um, and don't lose anyone I think most Wolves fans will say that's a pretty decent window in the circumstances so yeah Nelson Semedo he signed a three-year deal with an option for Wolves to extend to five years um, it's basically 27.5 million with add-ons exciting times Wolves showing their intent I think on the season and as I say we've also got um, a lot of uh, young backups as well to come in on that one so leave your thoughts below please smash a like on the uh, on the video it does help it get shared to other people if you do that for me and if you're brand new please consider subscribing and if you're already subscribed if you haven't already done it hit the bell notification because you'll always be first then to be no notified of any of my uploads so until the next one I'm Dazzling Dave Always walls.